Welcome to the Emiscope Visual Engineering Series tutorial on building and animating a plate model. In this tutorial, we will build a model of a flat plate and display frequency-based ODSs in animation on the model. When an ODS is displayed near a resonant peak frequency in a set of FRFs, it is usually dominated by the resonance and is therefore a close approximation of the mode shape associated with the resonance. The following steps are required to display these mode shape approximations directly from a set of FRF measurements. First, build a model of the test article with all of its test points included. Second, import FRF measurements taken from the test article into a data block file. Third, assign the FRF measurements to DOFs on the model where the measurements were made. Fourth, animate the model using data at the line cursor position from the measurements in the data block. Fifth, Place the line cursor at a resonance peak to display an approximation of the mode shape for that resonance. Execute the File, Project, New command to start a new project. In this case, we have called our project Plate Model Tutorial. Starting a new project will clear all data from the computer memory and display the Emiscope VES window with an empty work area. Step 1. Drawing the plate model. 3D structure models with simple geometries such as squares, cubes, circles, cylinders, spheres, etc. are easily built in Emiscope VES by using the Drawing Assistant. More complex models can be built up by using several simpler geometric structures called substructures. To begin building a new structure model, execute the File, New, Structure command. A new structure window will open. To assign dimensional units to the structure geometry, execute File, Options in the Structure window to open the Options dialog box. On the Units tab, choose Length Units from the Length list and click on OK to close the Options box. In this case, we have selected Inches. To animate shapes, it is only necessary to build a structure model with dimensions that are proportionally close to those of the test article. The horizontal plate model will be built by modifying one of the editable substructures from the substructure library, which is part of the Drawing Assistant. Execute Draw, Drawing Assistant, in the substructure window to display the Drawing Assistant tabs. Please note the Drawing Assistant can also be selected from the toolbar. When the Drawing Assistant is open, several tabs are displayed above the substructure spreadsheet on the right side of the window, but only the substructure tab is enabled. On the substructure tab, Click on the Substructure Library Browser and scroll the browser to find the Rectangular Plate Substructure, the third one from the top of the browser list. Double-click on the Plate Substructure in the browser. A vertical plate substructure will be displayed in the graphics area of the structure window. The test structure will be defined as a grid of points spaced 10 length units apart, with 5 points in the global X direction and 6 points in the global Y direction. On the Dimensions tab, enter Width equal to 50 and points equal to 6. Enter height equals 40 and points equals 5 below. Next, the plate will be rotated from its vertical position to a horizontal position in two increments of 45 degrees each. On the position tab, enter 45 into the rotate degrees box. Choose Global Coordinates and press the Rotate Y up arrow twice to rotate the substructure to a horizontal position. In the Substructure Spreadsheet, change the substructure label to Horizontal Plate. Step 2. Importing Measurements to display ODSs in animation, a set of FRF measurements taken on a real plate structure will be imported into a data block file. These FRFs were calculated from data taken during a roving impact test on the plate. Execute File, Import, Data Block in the Emiscope VES window. The Windows Open File dialog box will open. Choose Universal File Format from the Files of Type list in the dialog box. Select the plate30frfs.uff file from the My Documents slash Emiscope VES folder and click on Open. 
Next, the Translation Files dialog box will open. This box provides a summary of the data it found in the file. Click on OK to import the plate30frfs.uff file. The data block window will open showing the imported FRFs. Notice on the title bar that there are 30 FRFs in the file. Use the vertical scroll bar on the right of the graphics area to scroll through the FRF measurements. Each of the 30 FRFs in the data block file was measured between a pair of DOFs on a real plate structure. Each FRF was measured by impacting the plate with a hammer at a different point, all in the vertical direction. The vibration response of the plate was measured with an accelerometer fixed at point 1 in the Z direction. Since the accelerometer was fixed at DOF 1Z throughout the test, 1Z is called the reference DOF. The set of 30 FRF measurements was made by impacting at each of the 30 points in the vertical or Z direction. Since each impact point had a different DOF, these DOFs are called roving DOFs. This type of modal test is very common and is called a roving impact test. Drag the vertical blue splitter bar to the left in the data block window to display the trace properties spreadsheet. Trace DOFs for cross-channel measurements such as FRFs have the following form. Trace DOF equals roving DOF colon reference DOF. The roving DOF always precedes the colon and the reference DOF always follows the colon. In this case, notice that all of the trace DOFs listed in the DOFs column of the traces spreadsheet contain the roving DOF of each measurement from 1Z to 30Z, followed by the same reference DOF, 1Z, behind the colon. Because there is only one reference DOF, this is called a single reference test. Single channel measurements only have a roving DOF and no reference DOF. Cross channel measurements, like FRFs, will normally have both a roving DOF and a reference DOF. Notice also that all of the measurements have the same units, in this case, Gs per pound. The FRF units indicate that the response, or output, was measured with an accelerometer in Gs, and the excitation, or input, was measured with the force gauge or load cell in pound. All animation in the structure window is done by evaluating an animation equation for each DOF of the structure model. Measured DOFs are animated using a measured animation equation. All unmeasured DOFs are either fixed or are animated using an interpolated animation equation. An animation equation is simply a weighted summation of measurement numbers. During animation, each DOF of the structure model is animated by evaluating its animation equation and summing together weighted data from each measurement number in the current animation source. In the data block window, each row in the traces spreadsheet contains the properties of a single trace. Notice that the first column of the traces spreadsheet contains the measurement number of the trace. In other words, each trace has a unique measurement number, which is its row number in the spreadsheet. The easiest way to create animation equations is to match measurement number DOFs in a data block or shape table with point numbers and measurement directions at each point on a structure model. This is done by executing one of the assign measurement numbers commands. There are two requirements for matching measurement number DOFs with points and directions on the structure model. First, the point number of each measurement point on the structure model must match the point number in the roving DOF for the measurement corresponding to that point. Secondly, the measurement axis at each measurement point on the structure model must be oriented in the direction of measurement and be of the same type, rectangular, cylindrical, spherical, or machine, as the directions in the corresponding measurement number DOFs. At this point, click the Window Arrange button on the toolbar to arrange our workspace to show both the structure window and the data block. To number the points on the plate model, execute Draw, Number Points in the structure window. A dialog box will open from which you can control the point numbering process. Start at one corner of the structure and click near each point on the model to number it. When you have finished, all 30 points should have unique numbers next to them. 
When you have numbered all of the points, click on Close in the Number Points dialog box. The points were numbered by using their point labels. To view the point labels, click on Display, Center Window, in the upper right corner of the Structure window to center it in the Work area. Execute Edit, Objects, Points to display the Point Properties spreadsheet. Drag the vertical blue splitter bar in the Structure window to the left to show the Point Properties spreadsheet. Execute Display, Point Labels to toggle the display of the point numbers on and off. Each point on the structure model has its own measurement or local axis. Measurement axis are used for specifying directions of measurement at each point. The directions of the measurement axis are defaulted to coincide with the directions of the global axis, which are displayed in the lower right corner of each view in the structure window. Execute Draw, Animation Equations, Equation Editor, to display the measurement axis at a point. When the Equation Editor is open, the Measurement Axis and Animation Equations tabs will be displayed above the point spreadsheet in the Structure window. Hover the mouse pointer near a point to display its measurement axis. Execute Edit, Select Objects, Select All to display the measurement axis of all of the points. Execute Edit, Select Objects, Select None to return to the display of the measurement axis of the nearest point to the mouse. Notice that the axis coordinates are rectangular on the Measurement Axis tab, and that the axis directions coincide with the global axes in the lower right corner of the graphics area. The Measurement Axis tabs has controls for graphically rotating the measurement axis of each selected point. In this case, since the measurement axis at each point are already oriented with the Z direction pointing in the vertical direction, no further changes are necessary. Step 3. Assigning measurement numbers to DOFs of the model. Execute either Draw Assign Measurement Numbers in the Structure window or Tools Assign Measurement Numbers in the Data Block window. The Assignment Methods dialog box will open. With Match Structure and Source DOFs selected, click on OK to use this method. When all measurement numbers have been assigned to the model, the following message box will open saying that 30 animation equations were created for animating data from measurement numbers in the data block. Click on OK to close this box. The plate model is now ready for animation. To initiate animation in the structure window, execute Window, Arrange, for animation in the Emiscope BES window. Execute Animate in the structure window. Animation of ODS data from the data block window will begin using sign dwell animation. To animate near a resonance peak and therefore view its approximate mode shape, execute display, imaginary, in the data block to display the imaginary part of the FRFs. Execute format, overlay traces to overlay all 30 traces of data. Place the mouse pointer inside the graphics area of the data block. Hold down the left mouse button and drag the line cursor to one of the resonance peaks. With the cursor near one of the peak frequencies, the ODS is dominated by the mode of vibration associated with the resonance. Near a resonance, the ODS is a close approximation to the mode shape associated with the resonance. With the mouse pointer inside the graphics area of the data block window, Spin the mouse wheel to zoom the traces display. Hold down the shift key and drag to pan the zoom display. Execute Display, Unzoom to unzoom the display. With the mouse pointer inside the graphics area of the structure window, spin the mouse wheel to zoom the display.
hold down the right mouse button and drag to rotate the structure. Please note this rotation can only be done in the three-dimensional view. Click on the increase, decrease amplitude arrows to view the mode shapes with more or less amplitude. Execute Animate, Deformation, Undeformed to display the undeformed structure together with the deformed structure. 